Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about python data types in which numeric string list tuple set are included so guys these are the different data types that we can see in this video and the upcoming videos as well so basically in computer programming data types specify the type of data that can be stored inside a variable so for example number it is equal to 24 so 24 value belongs to the numeric data type and this is the integer value inside the numeric data type we have many other data types such as integer value then we have float value as well in which there is a decimal point we have a complex value as well in which as you can see this expression that is 1 plus 2j this is a complex expression so all these are having numeric data types over here so number over here is a numeric data type or the integer as you can see 24 is the value if it was 24.5 then we would say that number variable is of float data type so guys let us check this with the help of example what we can do is we can simply copy these lines of code over here i'll copy this and we'll paste this over here now what we will do is this constant dot py that we had created previously i'll just remove from our python folder over here since it is no longer needed and we will simply keep python code dot py where we are going to write all the programs over here so guys over here i'll simply replace the content of this file by this content i'll save this file and over here in the terminal i'll simply clear the screen so as you can see num1 it is defined as 5 which is the integer that is being assigned to num1 so the data type over here will be the integer data type and using this print statement what we are doing is we are using this num1 and then followed by comma is of type which means num1 will be printed that is 5 will be printed and then we will have is of type string being printed and then type this is another method that is being used in order to get the type of a variable so as you can see this is the syntax that first we provide type and then followed by open and close parenthesis and over here inside this we have num1 that is the variable name guys similarly we have provided num2 as 2.0 and the same thing we are doing that is we are finding the type over here and then in the num3 as well we are getting the type of this num3 variable let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see 5 is of type class int so this is of the integer data type 2.0 since it is having the decimal over here it is saying it is of type float over here and 1 plus 2j it is of type complex over here so these are all numeric data types and inside the numeric data types these are described as integer float and complex values now apart from this guys we have other data types as well such as string that we had seen previously we have list as well tuple and set so guys let us check this one at a time so over here what we will do is simply i'll provide str and then i provide the str value as programming for beginners so what we will do over here is we want to find the type of this str variable so what we can do is we can simply have the print statement followed by open and close parenthesis and we can simply have the type function so guys as you can see type is being auto suggested over here we will select this and inside the open and close parenthesis we will use this variable so i'll just copy this and paste this over here that is str and then when we save this file and try running this code now as you can see class that is str is getting printed over here we can also have some string value over here that is first of all we are going to type str that is the value of this str and then followed by comma and then we can simply have is of type inside the single quotes over here guys it is very important that whenever you want to type certain characters we should either have it inside the single quotes or double quotes as we have seen over here and then when we save this file and try running this code it will show us the data type of this string with a more sensible statement so as you can see programming for beginners this is the string value that we have given and then is of type now this is of type we have provided over here and then this type function that is str it is returning the type of this str variable which is class str over here so this is of string data type now guys this str over here it stands for string and not the name of this variable if i provide here something else then it will be more sensible so let's say if i provide statement over here as the name i'll copy this and paste this over here and when we run this code once again so as you can see it says class str is of type class str so since we have not replaced this str with the statement that is why we are not getting it properly i'll run this code once again now so as you can see programming for beginners which is the value of this statement variable over here 
and then is of type and then we have class str over here now apart from this we have other data types as well such as list which can be defined as the square brackets so what we have to do is let's say i provide list one as the name of the variable and then equal to now guys list is nothing but it is a data type that have collection of elements so over here let's say we have collection of strings so let's say we have collection of fruits over here so the first fruit is apple followed by comma and then again we have double quotes and then we have mango so all the elements are being separated using the comma over here as you can see and then let's say we have banana over here as the third fruit so what we can do is we can simply have print statement over here and then we can have type of this list one so I'll say list one over here. When we save this file and try running this code now, as you can see class list is getting printed. So this is of data type that is list over here. Similarly, we have tuple and set as well, which we are going to see in the upcoming videos. What are the different contents of these data types and how do we use them and when do we use them? So guys, for now, you just need to remember that whatever value that we provide to a particular variable, automatically that data type will be assigned to that particular variable. So guys, that's it in this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is Python type conversion. So stay tuned.